Media reports suggest that the Armenian Minister of Health, Arsen Tarosyan, and two other officials have testified against former head of the State Oversight Service, David Sanasarian, who faces corruption charges. Factor AM has received information about the course of the preliminary investigation of the criminal case filed against employees of the State Oversight Service. According to Factor AM, Insider, Sanasarian and Tarosyan have confronted each other. Army's Attorney General Arthur Doftian did not respond clearly to a question as to whether he will support the prosecutors during the trial of former officials and which is a separate part of the criminal case into the events of March 1, 2008. It will be an unprecedented trial, three presidents in different statuses, statesmen and politicians. The society will see and give an assessment itself, Doftian said. According to him, several hearings will be held behind closed doors whereas the rest of the process will be open to public. Former President Robert Kocharyan, ex-Minister of Defense Seren Ohanian, ex-Secretary General of the CSTO Yuri Khachadorov, and former Deputy Prime Minister Armen Gevorkian faced criminal charges. The U.S. may host a meeting of foreign ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan in the future, U.S. Deputy Ambassador to Azerbaijan William Gill told reporters. As you know, the U.S. is an OSC Minsk Group co-chair and we are committed to working with the parties to help settle the conflict through negotiations. The U.S. may host a meeting of the ministers of foreign affairs of Armenia and Azerbaijan in the future. This opportunity is being considered. We hope we'll have positive news to share about that in the days to come, Gil said. In 2018, the number of crimes in Armenia has grown in numerical sense, Prosecutor General Arthur Davtian said. In his words, a total of 22,551 crimes were recorded in the country during this period, and this is 11.2% more than the previous year. Armenia, however, recorded the lowest rate in the number of murders, he added. The election of the Armenian Patriarch of Constantinople might take five to six months. The names of the candidates will be announced in one or two months, Chief Editor of Istanbul-based August Daily Pakrat Estukyan told News AM. The Istanbul governorship will most likely issue the license for holding the elections within a week, he added. Estukyan also said the primate of Armenia's Ugaras Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church, Archbishop Sebu Chuljian, has high chances of winning the election.